Hello folks, this is Matthew Peterson, trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and welcome to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time, make sure you uh, subscribe to keep up to date of all of our videos that we post, usually two to three a week. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. So in this video, what I want to bring you is managed and unmanaged solutions inside of Dataverse. And one of the things that I was not as familiar with was I knew the fact that if you, you took an unmanaged solution from an environment and you put it into another environment, you could change anything you wanted to about that solution. But when there was a managed solution, the main idea is that you're pretty much locking it down so that certain things can't be changed because you're probably putting it into production and you want it to be as is. But there's this thing called managed properties within solutions that do allow for customizations of certain tables and column ideas that you can give your users the ability to change. But where to make that change was a little bit hard to figure out. Uh, and if you've been in the same issue, then I wanna bring a video to you to show you how you can make a managed solution, bring it over into a different environment, and how you can allow certain modifications to be made that you want. And you might not have even known that there's already these properties turned on that allow for these changes in your managed solution. So without any further ado, let's go to the intro video and then we'll do the demonstration. All right, so what you see here is I'm in a so uh, I'm in my environment and I'm going to go into a solution that I've already made here called my properties demo. And the first thing that I'm going to show here is in the solution very basic. I just have a single table uh, which I have called my student table and on this student table, I'm going to go over here and take a look at the columns and I'm going to filter this down based on my publisher prefix just to show you the ones that are actually that is not my filter. Oh, my filter here is learn. Sorry about that. So I've made two separate columns here. So one of these columns, I'm going to make it to where it's called first name, last name. Uh, and then when I get to the manage properties, I'm gonna allow my users to change the display name of this column, but I'm not gonna allow them to change the display name of this one. Now, first and foremost, let me just explain the unmanaged solution part. So if I'm ready to take this from my lab admin 23 environment and I wanna move it into a different environment, the first thing I do with my solution is I'm gonna head on over here to my overview. And once I'm here in my overview, I want to export this out. So I just come on over, I'll hit my export button right here. And then I'll come on over, I'm gonna hit next because I've already published all of my changes. So I'll hit next here and I'm gonna do this as unmanaged. And again, the main idea with unmanaged is you're taking your, everything that you put in this solution, all of your flows, your apps, your Dataverse tables, and you're just ready to hand this off to somebody else to put into a different environment. Or you yourself are ready to move this over to a different environment. And if we do unmanaged, then we can do anything we want to with that solution once it gets put into the environment. And I actually wanna make sure that you see that in action here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna say I wanna export this out. It's going to prepare this for export. I've chosen that it's going to be unmanaged and then it's now going to start downloading this file for me. So you can see it's currently exporting the solution. After it's exported, I'll download it and then I'm going to go to a different environment to import this solution in. All right, so it's finally exported. So I'm just going to come on over here and download it. It's going to put into my downloads folder and then I'm going to bring over a different environment. Let me bring that over now. And well, I'm gonna take that solution and I'm now going to bring that on over into this lab admin 24 account. So in order to import a solution, we go to our solutions uh, section in Dataverse. I'm gonna come on up here and hit import solution. I'm gonna browse for that file. So I'm gonna come over here to my downloads. Here it is and I'll hit open, I'll hit next. And then the next thing that we will do is, is we're gonna import this solution, which is unmanaged into this lab admin 24 account. This is gonna take a few seconds here, but with the magic of editing, you're not gonna to have to sit around and watch that whole import go through. All right, so it has imported successfully. This again, this is an unmanaged solution. So when I go into my properties demo, I'll get rid of this little notification up here at the top. And if I head into this table, like my student table, and I go over here into my columns, 
Notice I can come up here, I can add a new column to this table if I want to. If I want to come on over and find that uh, student, where did it go here, like the last name, even though I say it can't change, you're going to see I can change it because this is an unmanaged solution. So I can come up here, last name can't change, I can say yes I can because I'm in an unmanaged solution. So that's the one thing you're gonna get with those unmanaged solutions. Again, the way I like to think about it, it's just a simple copy, you're pasting it over somewhere else, and then make all the changes that you want to. But when I'm ready to make this a managed solution, I'm ready to start locking down this code, there are some things inherently part of your solutions before you export that you might not made, be and have made aware of that I really didn't know at the first time that I was learning as well. So let me showcase this off to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of this Lab Admin 24 account. I'm gonna go back into my Lab Admin 23, which was the original solution, and I'm gonna head back on over into one of these tables. So I'm gonna go into my student table, click on my columns here, and I'm gonna go to first name can change. Now, you might not have known, but if you go to a column and you hit your three dots next to it, and you go over into the advanced and manage properties, manage properties by default, this is already turned on for you. This already allows customizations where the user can change the display name, they can change the requirement level of the uh, data column itself, and they can change even more additional properties. So these things are already turned on for you, although it's hard to figure out where to make that change, where I'm gonna show you in a second, but let's say that I'm gonna go over to my last name and I don't want them to change, for example, the display name. So I'm gonna come on over to the last name, go into the manage properties, and I'm gonna say that you cannot change the display name. So nothing can be changed in terms of the display name, and then I'll hit done. Now also notice here, once I hit done, I'm gonna come back on over to tables, and on the table itself, there is in the advanced section, manage properties. And those, this is for the table. If I turn off allow customizations, then no other customizations whatsoever on columns can be manipulated that I manipulated just a few moments ago. But if I don't want my users to be able to create new forms in the solution, I would uncheck this. And you can see all the different things that, now the one thing you can't do is uncheck the new columns can be created. But these are all things that you might not have known when you export as a managed, you're allowing your users to make these changes in the solution. And maybe you don't want them to. So if you don't want them to be able to do that, you need to come to the table manage properties and make the desired changes. So I'm gonna hit done here. And then I'm gonna re-export this solution, but I'm gonna export this out as a managed solution this time. And I'm gonna put it into a different environment to show you the different feel. So I'm gonna come back on over here to my overview. I'm gonna go back over here and export, but this time, and I'm also gonna publish all of my changes to make sure all those managed properties that I just manipulated, that they do in fact go into place. So I'm gonna wait for the customizations to be published here. Now that it's been published, I'm gonna to go to next. This time I'm gonna go for a managed solution and I'm gonna export again. So it's gonna export this out. Once it exports, I'll download. And then I'm gonna bring the solution over into a different environment to show you the different look and feel as opposed to that unmanaged solution. All right, so it's been exported successfully. So I'm gonna download this. All right, you can see that it's downloading a managed solution. And now I'm gonna head over to a different environment, my lab admin 25, and I'm gonna import this managed solution in. So I'm just gonna to point to that file in my downloads manage solution as you can see I'll hit next we'll come to the next part where it's going to tell me that this is a managed solution I'll hit import and after the import I will show you what this new table field looks like all right it is imported successfully so I'm going to go into my properties demo solution here and we're going to see at the top it says you cannot directly edit the objects within a managed solution okay we know that if the managed properties for solution objects are set to allow customization, you can edit them from another unmanaged solution. Mm, okay, let's see what that means here. So let's just go into the regular student table. So I go to the student table, I'll head on over to my columns, and I'm gonna filter this down again just to see my columns I created for this demonstration here. And so first name can change, all right? We made sure that I could change this. So when I click on the column name, and I come on over, notice, this is where I thought I should be able to make that change because I said I'm going to allow my users to make changes here, but it's been grayed out. So then it was going, well, where the heck do I go to get this done? 
even though I saw that message at the very beginning when I was on my tables and in the solution, uh, that message is now gone. It said you have to uh, make those changes from an unmanaged solution. So where do we go? Here's where we go. So what we do is we're going to head back out to solutions. And the one we want to look for is our default solution within the environment. So when I click on the default solution, I'm then going to search for the table that I want to make my manipulation to, which mine was called the student table. So when I click on my student table here and I head on over into my columns, now I'm going to again filter this down and just make it easier here. So we're going to go to this and I'm going to go to first, I'm going to go to last name can't change. All right. So I click on last name can't change. And when we head on over, notice, okay, I said that you were not allowed to change that because I unchecked it in the solution before I exported it as managed. However, on the first name can change, I left it on. So if I click on first name can change, there it is. First name can change. I'm going to put yes, you can. And then I'm going to save this. Now I've changed it from the default solution. So if I head back to the regular solution here, and I go into my properties demo and I go to my student table and I head on over to columns, we now should see that change that I had made just a few seconds ago. And here it is. First name can change. Yes, you can. Now let's also take a look at one last thing. I'm going to go back to that default solution and I'm going to go to my form. So let me search for my student table one more time here. And remember, on the table manage properties, I said that you were not allowed to create new forms. So let's see if that took effect. So I'm gonna hit forms and take a notice. New form is now grayed out because I said on this table, I do not want you making new forms. What about views? Yes, views are there because I left that option on. So hopefully what you see at this point is that managed solutions and unmanaged you might have been exporting managed solutions and never even knew that you were allowing users to change certain properties create views create forms uh, because really i didn't know people had given me the option to change certain things when i got them managed i didn't know where to go to make those changes so you head to your default solution you search for that table or call uh, column application whatever it might be that we're allowing changes on you make the changes there and it pushes it into your managed solution. So hopefully this is helpful and beneficial. You didn't have to Google search as much as I had to to figure out where to find this. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you like the video if you don't mind and hit subscribe. And if there's anything we can do at Pragmatic Works to help you with your training and your organization to get you where you need to be, we would love to help. So please give us, uh, give us a shout. All right, hope you had a good one and enjoyed watching the video.